in this video i'm going to show you a hack on how to get high quality resources for your design project and this is coming up <laughs> hi everybody innocence here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing so i get asked a lot where do you get these high quality images for your designs and to answer that particular question i don't have a particular website that i used i almost gather different resources from different websites put them together for my design project so in this video i'm going to show you the hack on how i come about this high quality resources and how you can also apply them in your design let's get into the video all right so i recently made this particular design over here i made a tutorial on that if you want to check it a link will be in the description so i'm going to use this as a case study to show you how i gathered the resources for this particular project the first thing you need to understand is that every design comes from an inspiration so the moment you get your design project you are going to search for inspiration or you're going to gather the design inspiration I made a video on how to search for design inspiration and website to get inspiration so let's assume that this is our inspiration this is how we want to go about our design once you find your inspiration you're going to figure out a couple of things that you need from the inspiration so your design inspiration could be two different things so you can have this particular design one other design or let's say three designs that you are going to pick things from so let's assume that we got all our inspiration from this design but not the same design in that case when you look at this design you realize that we are going to need first off a pizza you also realize that over here you can zoom in and then you realize that there are some kind of particles there are some kind of sparkle you can call it sparkle particles you just have to figure out what you see in the inspiration and when you take a critical look over here you have this particular leaf or flower whatever you want to call it and then you also have the smoke over here on the right side you are going to have your test all your test and then you're going to have this heart symbol and you have this paint splatter or this kind of brushed rectangle if you want to call it that way and then you have some slice of pieces also here so you realize that the background is not that smooth so we have some rough edges and then we are going to have a gradient and there is a love sign over here so find a background that matches the love sign or that has love sign and then we can use it and apply it into this design now once you are able to identify all of these it is time to search for your resources and it is very important to get to understand or know some of the things that you really want to search for for instance if you want to search for this particular one here and you don't know that this is a pizza it is going to be a problem so having a fair idea of what you are searching for is going to go a long way to help you so this is a folder of all the resources that i gathered and i didn't use or i didn't make use of all of the images that i downloaded and when you look at all of these elements you realize that it has different names coming from different places different websites all together so now it is time to search for our resource back to our inspiration the first one we want to search for is a pizza and if you look at the pizza that i use over here depending on how you want your design to go i try to get as many png files as possible png file is basically any file without a background so it assumes the background of the project that you are creating so let's jump onto the internet and let's see how we gather these resources so we are looking for a pizza first of all you can go for a broad idea on what pizza or what type of pizza that you are looking for if you have an idea of what you want you can also add it so in this case i'm going to go general so pizza and then i'm going to add png to it because i want png or i want a pizza without a background so that i don't stress taking off the back so i'm going to search something like pizza images png now i'm going to advise that you start this process from google this is because google is going to give you lot of different links and most of the links or the website that we are going to look at is already embedded or found on google so i think you should start off from google though not all the images that are found on google are kind of very free but starting from here is going to help you now we are presented with images from google that we can choose from but here is the hack 
you go to the images section here and then you are going to find the broader version of the pieces that you want to so if you scroll through over here you're going to see a lot of them like there are so many pizza but look at this one here when you look under the images you're going to be presented with different links to different png websites that you can download these pieces from so the hack is that you're not going to download the images from here in fact there are some of the images that if you download from here you're going to actually find out that it's not png so what you can do is that you come onto the link here and then you're going to click on that link it is going to take you to the main png website and look at what we find here there are so many png pieces that we can download and the truth is that the images that you download from this website or the actual websites here is going to be of high quality in most cases than the one that you find on google so you are sent to pngeg.com and then you can download your pizza from here so look at this one you can download any one of them and one thing is that most of these png websites are free you can download high quality resources for free so now you have your pizza how do you get the sparkles or the particles or the smoke basically the same process so you go back to google and then you are going to search for let's say particles and you can see here that i try to add specific things to it so that i can get exactly what i want so in one of my searches for instance i said particles with black background this is going to help me to use the screen the blend mode screen so if you look at one here for instance and in this case for these things like particles you can download the images that you find on google because at the end of the day this one for instance it has a black background when you go into photoshop and you change the blend mode to black you're going to get the particles out of it and you don't have to really stress yourself going to the actual website but of course if you also take your time to go to the website sometimes you get the very high quality images and there is the smoke as well so you can search for smoke and for things like this i would normally advise that you don't go for images instead you are going to go for things like brushes and that kind of stuff so if you scroll down over here you are going to be presented with different websites and i've already talked about brush breezy on this website before that is where i download almost all my brushes for my photoshop designs so you can go to a website like brush breezy and it says free smoke photoshop brushes so you're going to click on that and it will take you to the website and in this case you're going to be able to download different smoke brushes according to your liking how you want it you can download different brushes or smoke brushes for your project as well so you can click on free download and afterwards you're going to install it in photoshop and then you can go ahead and use it if you have no idea how to install brushes i have a video on that you might as well want to check it out so now that we have our brushes let's talk about the background so for the background it all depends on what you normally want to do in most cases when i'm starting out background i try to search for like related background so for instance this project that we worked on was related to valentine's day so i could go something like valentine's day background images and i'm going to add hd to it the hd is basically going to make sure that i find images that are of high quality or high definition so once you search for this you are also going to be presented with different images and of course you can go ahead and choose so many of these ones and again if you realize from here you are going to see that you are going to be having links or you are going to be presented with links that you can click on them to find high quality backgrounds for this kind of project so this one for instance can be a very good fit for a valentine's day design so you can download something like this you can as well go ahead and choose all of these ones but make sure that you are getting an image that resonates with a project that you are working in that case it sells out the design to the targeted audience very easily and also for the elements we can go for something like valentine's day so valentine's day hats so you see that you are going to also get different type of heart images and then if you are lucky you are going to find the type of heart that i got i can't even remember the one that i actually got so you can download something like this there is also one like this one 
there is one here also and all of these it has links or websites that contains them so you can click on these websites to explore more and to get more about it now i know that there are a lot of websites like pixels that we normally talk about when we are trying to talk about where to find design resources but the truth is that some of these websites are mainly for images high quality images and for some basic things like elements sparkles font brushes you can't actually find them on this website and that is why using this particular approach that i showed you is going to get you to different website that you don't even imagine exist and it is going to get you some high quality resources that you can use for your design project that said let me take this opportunity to show you how to get all the design resources that i put in the description of my videos because i've realized that a lot of you have problem identifying these resources so one thing that i've actually been doing these days is that i put all the design resources on my website so once you watch the video and you want to get it you have to go to the website to download it but i leave a link to the website also in the description so if you chance on our videos especially from on a laptop like this what you can do is that you scroll down a little bit and then you are going to see the description once you find a description even it's on even on your phone you're going to see the same thing so you're going to click on show more and then you present it with a lot of links and this is my fiverr website this is where to download the resources and a lot of other links so this is the link that we are looking for download resource so you're going to click on that and then it is going to send you a blog post on my website that contains the design resource once you are here you're going to scroll down a little bit you're going to find download resources so inside of that you're going to find images and design elements and then you can click on that and the font that i used i also leave the links all of them in here as well so if you want to download the images and elements you click on this link again and it will take you to a google drive that contains all the elements the images and then all that you need for that particular project that you watch so yeah if you come across any of my videos that is how to find the resources that i used so yeah here is a quick recap of all that i discussed the first thing is identify your inspiration and try to identify all that you need for your design once you do that go on to the internet and try to use action search words to search for those resources and make sure that you know most of the names of the things that we really want because that is going to give you an upper hand on finding the correct and the precise resources for your project i'll be gaining value out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye